fuck out the way. Keep putting your damn face in the camera. Come on, man. Let me do me, and you do you. <clears throat> Dallas, my beloved Dallas Cowboys. Hey, they're going back to the bowl, man. Y'all know that, right? Y'all know they're going to the bowl, right? Goddamn Super Bowl. Yeah. Anyway, they beat the fuck out of the Green Bay Packers yesterday. <laughs> I mean, just fucking, fucking, what's the word I'm looking for? You let them nuts hang out. They just went out with a fucking damn... Um, acts like fucking Jason Voorhees and just start chopping them fucking Packers up. Now, I wouldn't say that. That's kind of corny. I would say Dak and Elliot went out there and took the dicks out and slapped all the Green Bay players in the face with it. That's what they did. And then Ezekiel teabagged uh, so-and-so. What's, what's, what's that dude with the long blonde hair, man? On the Packers? Yeah, what's his name? He in them head and shoulder commercials? Yeah, he's in them head and shoulders, and I seen him in um, um, beef jerky commercials. Yeah. Well, he's got blonde hair. What's his I forget. Name? He's not a Dallas Cowboy. Yeah, he uh, he's a defensive end for uh, Green Bay. What's his name? Uh, he's a linebacker, ain't he? No, he's a defensive end, man. No, he ain't. He's a linebacker. He's one of those. He's one of those. Anyway, I don't give a fuck what he is. He got his ass whooped yesterday. Yeah, that's what what's going on. But the reason why we want to talk about this game, not so much the game, we want to talk about post-game interview you know what I'm saying Ezekiel came to the interview looking all professional and clean and clean yeah just I mean bro he just broke that damn rookie record man five straight games with uh, uh over 130 yards yeah no rookies ever did that Dak broke Tom Brady's record hey you know what we talking here right we talking a goddamn dynasty here but anyway, they just need to get theirs back. They got bees, man. We talking about a goddamn dynasty. That's what we talking. We talking about, we talking multiple Super Bowls, right? And if everything goes right, you looking at multiple Super Bowl wins. But anyway, Dallas is going to be America's team again. Goddamn dynasty. All right, now shut the fuck up. Do some talking. Ezekiel was looking all professional. I, I have to say, he has one of the cleanest fucking fades on this damn planet. I'm like, damn. When he take his helmet off, who mm -hmm. the fuck is cutting your hair? Yeah, don't but, he look like this fucking helmet bothers his head, huh? Yeah, but anyway, in the interview, the way he was looking clean, he was looking clean from the waist up. But yeah. from the waist down, he was standing there in his boxes. Those weren't boxes. Those were briefs. Briefs are the damn nut huggers. That's what briefs Fruit are, of the nut huggers. Yeah. Well, boxer briefs. Yeah, that's what they called man. He was wearing boxer briefs. Looked like he had some Hanes on. Yeah. One of his teammates took a picture of that shit and tweeted that shit out. That was fucked up. But it was clean. It was clean, though. Them green boxes? Yeah. With that nice clean suit on? If anybody with that tight-ass fade? Yeah, if anybody can do it, it's him, man. He likes to wear the t-shirt showing his belly button. I thought that shit was fucking ridiculous, but... Hey, man, I was going to say something, man. What was I going to say? Hey, 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 man, I want to talk about uh, so-and-so. What's his name? Quarterback for the Panthers. Cam Newton? Yeah, that dude's a goddamn crybaby, man. You see him <laughs> at these damn press conferences? Just yeah. talking about the emotion of the game. Just got to find ways to win the football game. This is uh, disappointing as we've been in a while, man. Next question. This slow start, this has been a kind of characteristic team thing this year. Why do you think of it? Just got to find ways to win a football game. After tying it up there late in the fourth quarter, how frustrating is it to be on the sideline helpless watching? Next question. That's it, right? I don't get it. I'm talking, but let's, let's hit on this topic. Cam Newton, goddamn MVP last year. Dude took the time to put on a nice, clean-ass suit. He yeah. all decked out. Yeah, he looking clean, too, man. Right, you know how much time it takes to get decked out for an interview, to go to an interview look like that? You got to take a shower, man. You have to wait till you start, stop perspiring and shit. He was clean, right? All this shit on, and then he going to stand up in the interview and be a complete ass about the shit. <laughs> Why the fuck did you even go up there? 
It looked like something looked like somebody, you know, would have talked to him by now, cause after that last Super Bowl, man, he showed his ass down. <laughs> right? I mean, even though you lost Super Bowl, you still gotta pay respects to the other team, you still gotta come out professional. Like you see all these other uh, quarterbacks got that ass beating Super Bowls. But you don't see a lot of quarterbacks showing up to press conferences with that stank ass fucking attitude, man, <laughs> being a fucking crybaby, man. You didn't never see Peyton, you never see Tom Brady, you never see uh uh, Troy Aitman, you never see none of them players if they lose a big game, they don't come and got them interviews acting like Even that, Tony Romo, that motherfucker has vultures following his ass. That yeah. dude's still professional. He's still, still professional, man. You that man just being a complete ass. <laughs> and you losing all kinds of spec game, man. What? He's losing respect game, man. Don't nobody want to see that shit. <laughs> what your fans want to see, they don't want to see a goddamn quarterback coming out there and crying, way, way, way. They want to see a goddamn quarterback that's going to come out there and say, you know what? This is what we got to do. We're going to be better next week. I guarantee it. No, man. If I was a goddamn fan of Carolina, Carolina Panthers and I saw that shit, I'd be like, man, this goddamn season is over. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah, motherfucker, break me in the